hello everybody welcome to my channel my work and here is michael mark and today bring you by grandma japanese she is 65 years old and put tag and put word got a chance go to camp province to get some interview from her and she have the kid but the kid all move out and her husband died and she live by herself here along the dam area so you can see her house only she live here by herself she so afraid because have no place else to live and she have no job to work and she only go to monastery to serve the monk and helping the monk and get some food and to get back home. And also she have to raise some chicken and sell it to get some money to help herself. And she got a few dogs too. She raised the dog, and you can see the, the flood area too, and have no place to stay, only uh, on the dam that nobody lived there. You can see her house live by herself, and have no house around or no people live around. She only live by herself. I have nothing much to say. You can see a lot of video how poor the Cambodian people. That only way that they can help them. So we making video and go there and get some interview for her real life and post on YouTube to let the other people can see it too. And some people who having a heart and feel so sad and they want to helping her and then they send some money to my body in my teamwork who talk and who work and they went there and go to take those donations to give to them and to helping them and what else they need help. They working so hard for their living and then you can see her wall built from the teen is not the fancy stuff like in the United States. We are so lucky we get to the United States uh, the land of opportunity but it's not like in Cambodia. You can see their house, their environment and no fancy stuff, no city, no big building, no phone, no TV, no computers, no everything. About 500 years ago in their lives because they don't want anything. They don't need anything more than their shelter, clothes, or their food, or they need the medical care, or they have some money to go to see the doctor. It is a great gift to give to people who need it. So people really wanted something to get a better life, better feeling. Grandma job life in her Thai life, she never have enough money, enough shelter, and enough food to eat. We had a lot of chicken to eat here and beef and meat, the other stuff, and some kind of fancy stuff, clothes and shelter, 
but it compared to her, she never have a whole chicken to eat because she couldn't afford it. Only have enough food to eat every day to survive. She is so lucky. It's not eat to enjoy the food and eat to live. It's not live to eat. She eat to live. Whatever's available around that they can be a ball to eat, they just eat them all and nothing to waste. But uh, I don't know what to say uh, over here because so much and then more than we need it. If we have the little thinking like we share to them like a little bit, like a dollar, two dollar, twenty-five cent, or ten penny, it can help them a lot. Like twenty-five cent, it's not a lot is here. One dollar is not a lot is here. But over at Cambodia, it's a lot of help. And just one dollar, two dollar. If people donate like one dollar, ten people, she got ten dollar. If she get like fifty dollar month or twenty five dollar month, that can help her a lot to go see doctor, buy some food, some clothes, and how need to be repaired. The how is not like our how here. You can see how is a how is. It's not the how. They don't look like the how. Look like some place that they abandoned it. But the people uh, very poor. They are making they're living from that to be a hell, but we don't live in there. It's just some place, it's just building for fun, and it's not for the our living. This is the end of the grandma Japanese. She is 65 years old, and if you guys want to help, please share this video. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video. And thank you very much for your support. And if you would like you, we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.